doing for a time to me amongst the grapes. Once a kind peasant brought a basket full of delicious, sweet scented grapes to an elderly monk. The grapes were shining like rubies in the bright light of the sun. Bees and butterflies gathered around them, smelling the sweet fruit from afar. The elderly thanked the good peasant and gave him his blessing. He did not eat the grapes, though, thinking of another monk, a very, very old monk living close to his hermitage. He is more in need of his some fresh fruit than I am, he thought to himself. The elder took the basket full of grapes, put it on his shoulder, and went to the little cottage of the very, very old monk. The very, very old monk thought to himself, grapes make you strong, but I'm not working anymore, so I don't need them. As much as the brother who works hard in the fields. So he took hard in the grapes. So he took the grapes to a hard working monk. But he, the hard working monk did not feel it was right to keep them for himself. He thought of the brother, the shepherd, who was taking care of the sheep high on the mountains. He left the field and brought the grapes to the brother of the mountains but the shepherd didn't feel it was right to keep them for himself so he took them for yet another hermit so he took them to yet another hermit and so on the grapes after we have a bit have we been to it to all the monks in that grave were brought back to the first monk the elder astonished the elder called all the monks saying Come all ye holy fathers, come and taste these grapes of the true love. Let us always think first of our brother and then of ourselves, just like you and they all did today. When they all gathered, they prayed the Lord's Prayer. Then they ate the sweet and delicious grapes, the most tasty grapes in the world, just good tasting.